Well, we are straight into the pistol. There's no waiting around today. Good job, everybody. Good job. Tremendous. And hey, I mean, we made it this far. Why don't we just play the rest of the game out, right? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Funny guy. Here, you look like the type of dude to cat jam in real life. Yeah, dude, I do, man. That's my version of dancing. So is that like an interpretive dance of a cat jam, or is it just like your cat jamming? Uh, I was like, I'm what Cat Jam was based on, actually. Oh, interesting. The cat, the cat modeled itself like, after Yeah, you. the cat, like, uh, saw me and was like, <laughs> this guy has got it. Ah. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, Strawless, they've got control of middle. Fnatic want to take that here in just a second. They've set themselves up to throw some utility. Meanwhile, just backing away from Banana is going to be flush. That's a big grenade. Should have a... A lot more impact than that, but of course not. They're gonna go through the smoke. Molly in the pitch, trying to keep the short players here. We'll do that, but more coming through on the long side from B. Dupree about to get this info. There's the bomb dropped on oh, long oh, as well. Oh. They can't even go CT. Now it's in the moto side. They've got to fight tooth and nail. They've got to take down oh. Dupree, but he's fading away with another tap. And Magis comes in to help out Crims in a clutch. And this one might just be past his pay grade. One on five. It's just not happening. Dupree, what a splendid round. Dupree! Dupree! No. What a, what a, what a, what a great what a great pistol round from uh, from Dub Dub there, man. He, he <laughs> looks so damn good in that one. Have you called him that before? Uh, no. no. Yeah, Dub Dub. There's a first time for everything, right? I mean, yeah, of course. I was just curious if he was aware of this nickname he has now, Dub Dub. Is Golden Rock in like a bun of sorts? No, I think it was like his hair pulled back behind his headset, which is made for the ultimate, you know, agility in game. Of course, you wouldn't Whoa. know that because, well, you're pathetic. So. Wait, wait a second. Did I just see an MP5? Did I? Look at this from Flusher, though. Look at this lineup. Seriously. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going yeah, back man. to it, are we? All right. Go on then, it's a tight contest. Anyone can take it. JW versus oh. Flusher. We have been bigging this up as the fight of the century. Flusher. What's his name? <laughs> oh, he's, he's thrown it. What? Wait, what? They're both throwing They now. know how to play this. <laughs> Whoa, what's happened here? JW, you can win. He's doubled down. He's done Whoa. it. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen. Pack it up, pack it in. Join us in just a moment. We'll be back. We know the winner now, JW, standing <laughs> undefeated. Thank you all for coming. We'll break this one down in just a moment's time. Yes, that's right, but also wrong at the same time. Thank you so much, Harry, for doing that. And now we'll continue swiftly on with what is the mid-crawl. Because if you drink, don't drive. Do the watermelon crawl. Here we go. Oh, I don't know. Two MP5s in one round, that's just too much danger. And too little noise. Glaive going to push in and join the boys. Three for him, two for Dupree. Now, are they going to keep these guns, we'll call them? They're not very good, though. Weapons. Weapons. Sorry, Trace. Guns are for playing around. Like, okay, they, like, yeah, I mean, at this point, you know, he's given the title and then JW just goes, nah, mate, you can have another go at it because now I've won on both lanes. And Flasher goes, okay, you fine, have it. You win. And JW hey, Honestly, that, that to me, like, you know, Flusher thought that was the game winning move. I don't know. Does he you... really have a future in Fnatic? Makes you think, right? Yeah. Maybe. Obviously, you know, he did it on purpose, yeah, didn't he? the crowd. He's a smart guy like that, is Flusher. Oh, dear. Vice might get caught with a nade out. Oh, the switch. And now Magis trying to pick up the pieces Ooh. and pick him up. He shall. Does get traded by Crims, but still, Magis might have just saved this one. Dupree cut down over towards Long, and that's going to leave Flusher, Crims, and Golden to get this bomb down and try and see through a three on two up against the bonus round from Astralis. Killer Crims going for the ace. He's on three already. S tag on Long. Grim's given a bit of room, but coming back to take the rest. Ooh, tagged on a free fire. Flush is going to come and help out, denying the ace, but at least locking in the round by the looks of things. Low HP. No more utility kills, please. No more flashbang kills. Flush is one, and he's on the run. And so is Glaive, who saves an AK. One on the board for a Fnatic, but as you said, bonus round, right? Two MP5s. Ugh. And Device as well, he threw the smoke mid. If that wasn't enough to get him screwed, considering Fnatic were close mid, he then quick switches after he throws the smoke. So they just run at him. And it all kind of just falls apart around that.
players over towards B. One of them is S-Tag rocking this MP9, and he's already looking to get a bit more stuck in than he is right now. There's the nade, and he's trying to push down. Ooh. Oh, the, that's yeah. two nades traded either way. And Fnatic, their nade does 25 damage. The two from Astralis do 179. Yeah. Kind of what you expect at this point, isn't it? And look at the control they get behind it. S-Tag pushes all the way down. Astralis don't try and flank. They just rotate four into A. And so now Fnatic, oh dear, this is going to be dangerous. They don't even check it. Baited in by the player on the archway. Glaive gets the attention of Brolin. Dupree shoots him in the back. Now back to B they go. But oh, Glaive's already here. And S-Tag has been here the whole time since the beginning. But JW makes it his end. And Glaive, more damage done. But the flashes could be a problem. He's so blind. They're so low. But who's going to get out here alive? And it's not Glaive. Dupree with a shot above the wall. And Device has already pushed down mid. Of course he has. It's Device. And Astralis take a third. They're so ready for that from Fnatic. Crafted from the get-go. Even Glaive's coming in along, throwing a molly, not even peeking. That's enough to give Astralis a free kill as it just completely blindsides Brolin on the long side. And this is uh, it's a good start again for Astralis. Bouncing back right after the bonus round. Big dub dub. <laughs> Coming up 7-1 though. Harry, you all right, man? I'm good, man. Sound a little funny. Can't quite smell what it is but yeah man me either <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke that only us three are gonna get well that would be because why harry i know man y'all are weird <laughs> i'm just trying to do my job are you now <laughs> well, for anyone at home that needs a accurate description of what's going on in here harry had a little dupped up of his own <laughs> <laughs> by that i mean he's got an Slight little leakage of the nose. Yeah, like nosebleed. Want to make that clear? I'm not just <laughs> running mucus about the place. Well, these yeah, deagles he... are running about the place over at AIM. We're looking at Fnatic. Yeah. Pistols. So, of course, we can talk about the dup dups and the down downs. Fnatic, they're going to go down down into the pit. But uh, Device is here to cut down that, that attempt at splitting in through short and apps. And so now it's going to force Crimson Flusher. Back B bound. Hello? Hey. Well, that's the bomb given over. Mm. And for Crims, he's just got to try and do damage. Well, it's gone pretty well so far for Fnatic, all things considered. Five alive. Old Dup Dup doing it to him. I really like that. I don't know why. It's got like a very relatable sound to it. But then again, I don't know. Maybe you name your animal like Dup Dup or something. It's a bit That's of an animal, idea. bit of a beast in the server. This guy's wild. I mean, at least they could do is play some tic tac toe for us, right? Not on the gun rounds, Fnatic. This oh, is right. business. Yeah. Opportunity, a chance, guns back in their hands, and more grenades for Astralis. They're even going to push down. Match blind, doesn't matter. Just sprays into the wall and takes down Flush. He knows the lineup. He knows what he's doing. A Fnatic, they're going fast up mid. Already past the mid smoke, but not past the Molotov dropped down by Device. He's going to hang around, but Brolin, sneaky, sneaky. He's up on the car. Glaive going to spot him, but not shot him. It's Device dropping off into the pit. They're already up and past him, though. Very fast for Fnatic, and it's going to allow them to plant the bomb. JW on long, cutting off rotations. Yeah, well, there's JW doing what JW does. The timing is perfect. He drops a flash and runs away. That's just because there's two players alive on Astralis. Well, they're going to look for the retake because why wouldn't you at this point? 2v3. And you see what Fnatic do in this round, right? I mean, it, usually we're looking at Astralis using this utility, utility even to sort of slow down any advance or aggression that Fnatic throw their way. And in this round, it's Fnatic that just have the speed and they just charge. They just know, right? If we can get ahead of this, we can force some fights early on, albeit some casualties taken amongst the way, but it's four to two and Fnatic put up another round on the board. Luckily, no 
ending to the Astralis economy for now, at least. A few rounds in a row, and they've got a bit of bank to play with, so we'll be able to buy it right back in, maybe ready for the faster plays of Fnatic, if that's what they're going to lean towards. That's the thing for Fnatic. It's not easy to try and fake out Astralis, right, and, and manipulate the rotations like it is for many other teams. I'd imagine quite the deep strat book on Fnatic's map pick, one that they've tended towards quite a lot in recent times. Playing it in most series over the Pro League as well. Wins over Spirit, Mouseport's Vitality. Oh, sorry, FaZe, not Vitality. They lost to Vitality. So, oh, some big sick. names on there. And, uh, yeah. Will Astralis be one of them? Look at this. It's another attempt at just this fast mid play. That nade. Oh, dear, man. Dupree, the utility king, Ooh. absolutely lights them up. Now trying to get stuck in. Doesn't want to concede long. Doesn't want to facilitate a CT wrap, which is what this is looking like right now for Fnatic oh. Dupree. CT belongs to him. He's doubled up. And that bomb got thrown into the arch as well. So now they've got to go try and get it. Glaive here to help his old mate out. And that leaves Flusher and JW in a two on four. They're going to struggle to get back into. Everyone here for Astralis, JW, trying to come out of the apartments, but mm. Magisk is there keeping his eyes on it. And so now it's Flusher. And Ooh. he's dead, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Got dupped on. Yeah, Dupree doubled up. I like that. Doubled up. Yeah, that's a good one. Doubled up. Uh, was that on purpose? Or you can say yes, even if it wasn't. Yes. Uh, there we go. That now we know purpose. the truth. No question about it. Yep. Uh, this is that dubbed up that we were talking about. Go one, two, and even finds a three. It's Astralis running the board once again on CT side. It's like a doppelganger of rounds. Nice. It's a, yeah, that was a stretch, but... It's good to exercise, Trace. No, nah, I don't do that. See, once you beat the gym once, you don't ever have to go back. <laughs> so. He's out for Fnatic. They are broke. That they are. And they're beating all the way back to T-Ram. Look at this boost here from the JWP towards Banana. Certainly, this doesn't get any easier for Fnatic as time passes on. It's the classic go A, but then also go B strat, but also go maybe back to A. I love how... Oh, dear, that's a shame. I love how so much of Fnatic's early round is just, okay, guys, we're going to sit in positions we can't get naded because then we won't get naded because it feels like Astralis. Yeah, you know, we've seen the utility. We've seen the damage they've done with it already in the CT side. And for uh, that to even try and move up an armor. It wouldn't surprise me if Astralis have nades for the noughts and crosses area, like back in T-Spawn. They like bank them off the skybox over at B. You see, you got to bounce it off the ceiling. Like, <laughs> Big shot there from Device. He's going to heed this warning and back away off into the site. He's going to have some backup as well. S-Tag's there to sort of support him and maybe even spray him all down. Blade wants a piece of the action as well. These are pistols just trying to get into the site. This has gotten really strange. Device drops the bomb. Brolin with the Tech-9 goes to retrieve that AWP. S-Tag, though, will have his say about it. And this round is all but finished. Very low. Flusha would have to pull off something miraculous right here on 24 HP. His teammate in Golden Falls to him four. One on four. Flusha. Yeah, just See hopping ya. out. I love how even even in those situations, even that four on two when Fnatic don't even have guns, Astralis are really sweating it for everything they can, right? Like Magis watching from a passive angle for the Ruins wrap. Glaive doesn't just swing off of coffins and kill Flusher who's low. He just hides because they know they have the bomb in the site and Fnatic can't really do anything. They're at the, the mercy, the whim of Astralis. And so Astralis just wait until Fnatic try and get aggressive, try and make moves and it's to their own demise. Six to two, Eco's going nowhere for the dumpster. Fnatic, another buy. What can they do with it? Ecos. Who knows? Oh, dear. Flusher, he tried. He really did. He saw the nades go deep. He tried to peek with the molly and get Astralis off the car. How do you get Astralis off the car? They are riding shotgun right now. 
Vice making the jump up onto the half wall. He's now solo B, back to this quad A setup for Astralis. And it's good timing because Brolin's got the long kick. He doesn't expect another man with the same plan. Wave with the trade. And Magisk on short side, nine and one. Everyone is showing up for Astralis. S tags one and three. He's not seen anyone yet. And Astralis is stealing away those kills as is tradition. Device back to the orb, back to Banana. JW with a Molotov. Device could have lived there, but he's going to fall off. And kept burn. Oh, giving it up and spotting JW at the top as well, retreating into B. JW's only trying to force rotations. Glaive has fallen for it. Hook, line, and sinker, but Fnatic back towards A they go. Crossfire from the pit and the site. And the real vulnerability at this point is if Fnatic can somehow dip off into CT. Plenty of time to do so, but instead they're going to drop smokes, do some utility over here, try to work this arch area just a little bit. It's 2 2 setup here for Astralis. Four members alive. I just, though, only one death in the game thus far. He's basically immortal, although slightly mortal. Here he is down in the pit trying to hold on. JW's up at the hay bale. The glaive is pushed all the way down Banana <laughs> and is coming in through a mid flank. Now that could be a bit of a disaster, oh but Golden offering up kills has left Fnatic in an okay position. As now Glaive moving up the short side. Moving on in, taking it nice and easy, waiting for Device to get into his angle over here at long. Both players to Fnatic are just tucked in the sight and Golden another. What a round from this man. He might have just saved Fnatic in this one. Glaive, big brain on the other side. Sees one, but he can't find the damage. This is chaotic, man. Crims, he does finally deal with him. Not oh quite dear. the follow up yet, but time is running oh. out and Golden with his Glock out oh. puts a third on the board for Fnatic. Yeah, and if he knew how below they were, my goodness. Crazy scenes down here on Inferno. That's hashtag ESL Pro League for you. There's so much spam through the boxes as well for Glaive. He puts them so low and he has an inkling. He knows they're stuck in the site. He tried to check Graveyard and look away, but Astralis at some point realized that Fnatic was just tucked in the back. Nice conversion by Golden. Four in the round for him, keeping Fnatic in this one. I want to let Astralis to build, start to build up this money more than they already have. While they're buying up the orb, etc., they're not really rich other than that. I love that grenade by Flusher, though. Yeah, it goes sick. into absolute outer space over the, the B site, almost over an orbit. Let's see what STAC's got up his sleeves. Or just one singular sleeve. How He's going to play he in front of the smoke from Arch, Hugo. Look at that. Popped in. Brolin tucked in the corner, though. You can assume, but you'll never know. Uh, the Astralis just have to wait. It's Fnatic Group B. With that mid-information, they rotate Glaive back, and s -Tag's going to join him as well. This is quite the gamble, but it's going to be the right one by the looks of things. Astralis reading into the round. Even Crims is leaving oh. apartments as well. This is a full commitment for How's Fnatic. Glaive has just caught the perfect timing, and then it's like, nah, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. It's down. Device back at the site. S tag dropped immediately. Golden is on an absolute tear. Whoa. He's done it again. Three to open this up. Golden's like, right, guys, I'll do it all. I'll lead, I'll read, I'll get all the kills as well. And that might be what Fnatic needed here. Four on the board. The last two coming on the back of multi kills from Golden. That's why they call Golden the can opener. Not just because he's got supreme diving skills, but also, you know, he's known to open up sites like that, Harry. And that's what we love him for, right? The golden boy of Fnatic. Of Fnatic, rather. Sometimes I don't pr pr pronounce the T's. Produce, pronounce. What's the difference? <laughs> yeah, tomato, potato. What's the difference? <laughs> exactly, man. They're both delicious, raw or cooked. Yeah, I'm not eating a potato raw, but hey, you do you, boo-boo. Look at these entries. Great execute from Fnatic as well, right? Not putting down the CT smoke. We see more and more teams doing that, either delaying it or just fighting towards CT with a wall smoke. Uh, Golden just wins those fights. Uh, the double Molotovs to push both members of Astralis out from the back of the site. Doesn't matter that it's a triple B. Golden makes it easy. Yeah, and he just smiles for about 10 minutes afterwards, which is how you know success had been found. Vibes are good. Vibes are good. Fan cams. Some of them are good. Some of you could do better. I know you can. I know you got the creative juice. I like that the Aussie one was upside down. That's a classic. Ah, yes. I've been there, though. Yeah. And it's actually 
not upside down when in person. Oh, well. How do you know, though? I mean, if you think about it, I mean, look, I've been seeing a lot of maps recently that don't have corners or squares on the end. I Dude, I found that as well. I saw you using that website the other day. It astonished me. Yeah. I, it's like, I recall the earth being a far. Yeah, where's the edge? Well, there's this, yeah. look, there's a big ice wall around the whole thing. Oh, and the, yeah, man. Well, like, we that, all know that. Well, it's like, so think about it. One of the best documentaries ever made, Ice Age, you know, like they, yeah. they kind of cover <laughs> the basis of... Um, of that ice wall, I think in the third one. I thought that was Madagascar. Was it Ice Age? Yeah, I think it was Ice Age. I oh, think that David Attenborough guy, he really yeah, nails yeah. it when no, he gets no, on he there. did, yeah. man. Yeah, well, we do have a pause. Reasons unbeknownst to us, but I can guarantee you, there's a lot of typing going on. So things are getting funky, Hugo. Oh, that's what that smell is. Ew, Ew man, come on now. It's not smell me. jokes, never that good. There's, there's, a, there's, a hot, <laughs> there's a hot take, right? Because no one at home can smell anything. Not that there is anything to smell. And here we are, sat waiting. None the just, sniffer. <laughs> just smelling. Yeah, man. Exactly what Harry said. No. <laughs> this is a broadcast by for Astralis, though. They do not have the best weaponry. <laughs> Trying to put things back on track a little bit. Not well, it's not much. so much that. I just, you know, it's just this is a family show, and then you go and say stuff like that. Well, you all got them, don't we? What, armpits? Sure. I don't mind. I actually had mine removed. <laughs> oh, yeah? Interesting. Dude, I wish we could at least play noughts and crosses. Like, hang on a minute. Fanatic, they've called in reinforcements. <laughs> There were six of them there. They're, they're pulling an Astralis against Astralis. Wait, they got an extra crimps. No one would notice. Oh, never mind. Well, it looks like we're back on track. Freeze time has resumed. If you're just joining us, Nuke went the way of Astralis. You can see in the top right, 16-6. Yikes. Someone get a bag for the body, man. Samuelson, he's he's out of here. Is that like a IKEA bag? Like, what kind of bag are we carrying that off in? At this point, any. Just get it off the Norton Crosses pitch. Come on, we've got a game to play. Yeah, man. 6 4, score on the door. Bad buy for Astralis, but all they can muster and with all the grenades that you need. That could be profitable indeed. Molly at the top of B for Fnatic keeps Astralis out, but they will be looking to retake it. Glade dodging nades, but Molotov's to follow, and the Wall Boy is getting hot here for S Tag. Again, banana proving it's the most violent place on earth. Except for that back tack toe board over at T-Spawn. Things get pretty hairy around there, wouldn't you say? Oh, I would, man, especially when Flush is playing, right? Unorthodox moves, but he's the man making them, and he gets tagged earlier on in this round. So out to top mid. Stumble Fnatic, and they found their way here. There is a long smoke going down. Golden, looking like he wanted to go through it for a second, but decides against it. I like to think that when a nade goes off when you're up against Astralis and he does 20 damage, you're like, oh, oh, thank goodness, because they dodged that nade just about. There is an early rotation coming in from S-Tag and Glaive. They are moving everyone towards this a oh, no. oh, no, they were all getting out nades. Luckily enough, Golden is there. He's just doing it all right now. We need to keep our eyes on Golden. Can he get any more done? Because he's been brought down. Not low yet, but there's the finisher from Device. The execution of Golden. Magis does get dropped, but there's still so many bodies in the sight. S-Tag, he's been waiting all damn round. And oh, the reload for Brolin, the CC. Oh. Not going to find the shot. Brolin holds his own in the 1v2, or 1v1 rather, as he puts that fifth round on the board for Fnatic. Damn CC, man, it's just, oh, it's just bad, isn't it? It's just so annoying. Dupree, great time. You can see Golden, like, pulling out a nade, pulling back his gun. He was like, I, I know there's someone here. I have a feeling they keep playing the cubby. And, well, they kept playing the cubby. Dupree gets more than he should. And even though Device hits some lovely D shot from the site, S-Tag cannot close the clutch. Very close indeed, though. And that's the money gone for Astralis. That's Fnatic now in control of this game, of the economy, and of the T side. Orp and a MAC-10, they're going fast. Up and on as fast as you can against Astralis, knowing that might be grenades to follow. Device with the Zeus. Oh, he's hit, he's hit the molly. He's got to run. He's got to get out of there, and Brolin won't let him. Shot in the spine. Crash back into B through the molly for Astralis. That's ballsy, but it won't work out. They burn a bit. 
And the MAC-10 churns the rest. It's Magis on A. Bronin's going to hear him running as well. And we get that AWP head-to-head, -head, Device and JW. Device is going to move over towards mid, but he doesn't have a spawn, so he's just got to play this one passively from long side. This fight for Banana rages on. The nades so damn good. Flusher. They're like homing nades. The Molly is going to push Glaive out, but he just runs. He legs it, and he lives to tell the tale. Magis, did he just dink? No, he got he got dinked rather through the wall. Return fire a bit. And an early rotate for Estag. They've realized Fnatic, they've been obsessed with this A bomb site. And out through the apartments. It's fast. It's aggressive. And they get stuck in. Brolin doubling up. And this short side now open to Fnatic. The bomb can be retrieved and look to go down here. Man, disadvantage for Astralis. Three on four. They might just have to save, and they're already backing out of the round. So this is Fnatic taking the lead. Yeah, this is a great T-side right now for Fnatic. Taking control, five rounds in a row, all the money in the world. They won't be eco for the rest of the half. And by the looks of things, they are looking to take the lead away. Strala is saving on B. It's still broke, right? Like, what do you do going forward? You can either half buy or you can hope that Glaive and S-Tag drop over guns, but then you're going to suffer with the utility. And on a map like Inferno, you need that util. It's less important due to the frequency of saving, as we see in this round. The device catches an exit, but everyone else will survive. Six up at the end and seven for Fnatic. Yeah, they can go up into some SMGs. They could even get a Famas out or two. For straws, at least. Yeah. It's kind of worth buying at this point, right? Yeah, with the other weapons in play, of course. But the, the other side of the coin is like, oh, do we want our last round? Of, obviously, you assume the worst when you're planning out your buys, because if you win, you're always going to buy. But, uh, you know, assuming the worst, do we do we get broken for 15? I right? think I think I saw a land center in there. Double orb T-side? You what? I think I saw a land center in the fan cams. Interesting. Oh! Well, it's an awkward fight, but Golden, once again, winning everything. The B site now looking tantalizing to Fnatic. But an early rotate from Astralis. They leave Device to solo A, and he's going to play around this smoke. There is someone crossing through it. That's Ooh. Brolin getting into Boiler. Device doesn't see that, doesn't know. But he does have vision over towards Arch. That's pretty important to know as well. Just a barely a gap right in that smoke. Oh. <gasps> Oh, he just missed the timing. He full peaked mid or so he thought, and that was so close. But Brolin hits the headshot, and Device's shot goes astray. Never knew about Golden in the bottom of middle. So if Fnatic walk up to A, it's empty. And they look to be doing so. Crims is bailing out of Banana. Do pre rotating CT slowly. He knows that at any point Fnatic could be deep, could already be in the site for what he's aware of. Is that where they will go? Oh dear. Won't matter. It's no one out on the shore side anyway. Dupree gets a molly down. He's still waiting for what could be a wrap to CT to be. That's always an option with 30 seconds on the clock. Brolin above the smoke doesn't see Dupree yet, but he could catch Golden and make this a 2 on 2 for the retake. He's got a kit as well. Moving out in, trying to fight for the round, and he's got two. That's great work for Dupree. S-Tag alone, rotating off of the B-bomb site into a clutch. And it's Crims to go up against S-Tag. Great performance back on Nuke. Incredible, in fact. Falling a little bit quiet here on Inferno. This is the redemption arc. This is his shot to make a statement again. And Crims out in the open. S-Tag almost saw him there. Didn't spot him through the smoke. Crims oh. gets bested. S-Tag in with the clutch. Defuse locked in for the Danes. As they get seven on the board, they tie things up. They keep this competitive. Fnatic had two orbs in that round, and that had to be a purchase, right? Whether it's miscommunication or like, yeah, whatever it was, 
or just craziness. I like the idea, but both of them get removed immediately. Astralis saved theirs in the previous round, so it's not like Fnatic picked one up from the CT side. But yeah, they, they both die, flush it down, Banana, JW in middle. And that's a costly investment, but it's not one that will matter for Fnatic, who won five in a row, right? Who already had built up that economy. They could afford to lose some of it, and some of it they will. Astralis get one near the end of the half. Now into the last round, the last chance for Fnatic to win it out. Orp is holding mid. Device is going to peek in, and he hits the shot. What a shot to open up. Yeah. Roland, he's got no armor. He eats a nade. I wonder why he did 60. He forgot Kev. He's got eight grand. The cracks are starting to show. Just a little bit more on top, right? Uh-oh. Golden's done well to get one there at least, right? With like the double swing. Let's hope that this lack of armor on Brolin doesn't come back to hurt them. I think they've realized they've thrown in this AWP to play with. That's a nice AWP as well. Given over by JW. Or taken from JW rather, I guess, in the bottom of mid. Flush it. Flashed in, hidden behind the pillar is S Tag. He shrunk himself down and now emerges on the back of the flash from Dupree. A bit more damage, but Flusher will trade. Brolin in with another, and we find ourselves in this two on two to end out the half. Grenade goes deep, goes nowhere. Brolin fighting the spawn, and he's got the shot, taking down Device. Magis, he's been really good in this map as well. He's rotating into a clutch, knowing Brolin has the AWP in Banana. There's a kit in front of him and a Molotov. Magis, he's quite the scavenger. He's found plenty to use in this clutch, but Brolin could just hit the shot and close it out. That's what he does. Fnatic, eight to seven. They win out the half on the T side of their map pick. Astralis may have taken Nuke, but this one is looking far more competitive. Let's see if it keeps up. Join us for the rest of the Inferno in just a moment.
Time to get back into the action here, and we are ready to go. Inferno, a lot more competitive looking as we look at the second half. We've got Harry and Hugo with me, and they're ready to walk us down. What is memory lane here? Jot in our memory as to how this series has gone thus far. I'm looking directly at you, Hugo. What do you got for a storyline? Well, Astralis, they've already won this game just days ago, a couple of weeks, in fact, back in Cologne. But uh, this time, it's a whole new season. It's a whole new series. And it's one that Fnatic need if they want to be up for playoff contention. If they lose this series, there is no way we will see them in those playoffs. That's a sad story for Fnatic, especially considering they were the winners of Season 11 of Pro League and made a appearance in the final back at Season 10. But right now, Astralis could be putting them to a bitter end. Regardless, good half from Fnatic. They have a strong T side and lots of HEs on the CT as well. Yeah, I wonder what the big plan is there for that. Perhaps let Astralis get comfortable, then nade them into oblivion. They all, like that. Sorry. No, you're cool, man. They always have like a different plan with these nades. Like sometimes they, they save it for the coffins post plant. Like they give up B and they, they drop the bomb planter with the grenades. Sometimes they double nade banana. Fnatic always have something new on these pistol rounds. So does Flusha. Shows us a headshot, a slick one onto device, and you'll notice the bomb got dropped early on in the round. They were able to recover it. I say they, I'm talking about Majisk. Now he's regrouping a three on five, Glaive on low HP. You might be saying, well, what, what the heck? Why, Fnatic, why ain't you contain the bomb? Well, early days, early rounds, my friends. Not really where you want to try to make your final stand. A apartments not known as the Alamo. Good luck getting anything out of this round. The smoke could give some safety to Astralis to get past JW, but he could be quite the beast. And he's hiding in the smoke. He's not giving away anything. He'll wait. It. So he can strike. Brolin has a footsteps in ult as well. That should be a free kill for him on the lurk. JW has fired a shot. Brolin does kill Glaive. And now JW just letting them take the pit. Crim's dinked, waiting on the smoke fade. Astralis going for the plant. That's probably all they'll get in this round. Dupree trying to hold on with a double out of nowhere. He catches JW. They're already all along. And now he's left it on the shoulders of Majisk. But it's all too heavy for him. Fnatic will find that retake, albeit after a couple of scary kills from Dup Dup. Dup Dup. Dup Dup. Whatever Harry Dup Dup. Dup. That would be the less impressive version of Dub Dub. Yeah. Doop, doop. <laughs> <laughs> you got Dub Dub and then his alter ego, Doop Doop. Nice. And they made a cartoon about that. Well, Fnatic, this is like a great game for them now, right? Not just a winning T side on a map like Inferno, but now a pistol round to their name. I imagine Astralis might be tempted to force up with like a couple of AKs in this round, right? As we often see. What's the cool? Man at arts, we love you. Upside down. I was just trying to understand it all. And you can't understand it all. But what you can try to do here is rally back with a second round grab from Astralis. You get the bomb planted. Real decision-making time here. You're only down by two, so. And that same notion, what are you gonna do with all this sweet cash that you found for yourself? And into the investments we go. Yeah, S Tag being a good team player drops an AK into the mix. So this is quite the investment for Astralis. It's this classic moment. Who won the pistol? You wouldn't See. know. And Magisk, he's paying no respects either. Removes Flusher on the attempt to jump peek at Banana. Now they do run through a Molotov and both these rifles take a lot of damage from it. Not the end of the world though. Brolin's having one of these moments where he tried to go for the CZ only and now he's like, oh, they have AKs? All right, okay. I knew that would happen. I don't know, man. Brolin's sick with the CZ. I don't know how he's so good with it, but I wouldn't put it past him to get away with at least an even trade over here in the apartments if Astralis do try and contend it. Can't wait to see a master 
at work with that weapon. Crims over here towards short side as well. And there's an early rotation for Fnatic. JW now arriving over at the library. Almost gets caught, but he does live to tell the tale. Roland, here he is, emerging from the boiler, in with one, Whoa. the double up on the CZ, he gets out of there, and that's what I mean, man, Brolin, tearing them apart in the back line, it's left on to Glaive, oh who does tech out JW, so check this one out, Glaive getting the bomb, caught by Ooh. Golden on the repeak. And Fnatic will narrowly get that round over the line, they reach double digits, they put that big 10 up on the board, not to be confused with Big Ben, who is a clock. Uh, Big Ben's actually the bell inside of the clock. Oh my God, he is British after all, Harry. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, done it. Tower. You go, what does Big Ben sound like? Dong. There we go, man. That's good. <laughs> Dong. And then that yeah, just man. kind of cycles, right? Re rinse and repeat. Yeah, Cost cutting round for Fnatic, man. They win with low economy with a pistol on Brolin. Great work from him. They should have called it Big Dong instead of Big Ben. <laughs> yeah, man. But also. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I mean, you've got the London, like the London brown eye. Yeah, man. <laughs> and Big Ben. And anyway. Big Dong. They're, they're the big attractions <laughs> in London. Here's Brolin and JW. They're big attractions as well, and they're drawing a lot of attention right now. But boy, oh boy, are they putting up the numbers. They've earned their oh. keep. Glaive over here towards short side, and he's got the bomb out of there. He's recovered the cargo. But how far... Can this car go? <laughs> it's grinded to a bit of a halt here <laughs> in the top of mid. It's he's all onto Glaive. He's faked the fallback. They see him. They know he's here. But the tech oh. in Glaive's hands looks really good. Yeah. I don't know how. It's a rarity. But he's made it happen. Regardless, this is still Fnatic looking at 11 rounds, right? Surely no way Glaive can pull this out of nowhere. He's hiding in ult. Under the noses of Fnatic. They can't smell a thing. They're backed up into the site. Flush is playing safe. I mean, what are the odds this works out, Hugo? Let's just be realistic here for a second. <sighs> Probably pretty bad. Guys. So are you one saying in, that... 20. Yeah, are you, are you saying that now would be the optimum time to talk about G2 Nexus Twitter account? I just saw this tweet. That is quite the tweet. Not sure that we can talk about it, but we might do it anyway. Who knows? Or you could just go check it out and read along with us. <gasps> but now trying, can trying to, to kill it. him off the time. But Flush is like, no, I have to. I have to now, right? We can't. You know, he's just he just murdered my best friend in front of me. And Long so he range gets tech. the revenge. Long range tech. All the way off in the CT. That's a Keck if I've ever seen one. Keck nine. nine. Wow. Jinx. <laughs> oh, no. Anyways, yeah, that is some tweet right there. I'm not real sure. Um, yeah, next they're coming in with the tweet. Oh, Harry now. Can't wait to get kicked in three months' time so Nico can take over as the IGL. <laughs> oh, dear. He's read it out loud on stream. I mean, all gosh. I did was read words, you know? Like, and look at your words. You can't be held responsible for that. Rims, look at him go. He's got some choice words Whoa. for Astralis as well, and they sound like... And he's taken down one in the process. A lot of damage onto Dup Dup. It does get the better of him in the head to head. Yeah, Dup Dup with five HP. It's like Astralis are getting a taste of their own medicine. Utility keeping them at bay. Yeah, B stacked as well. Obviously, Astralis are not going to know this at this point, and they're trying to retake Banana with a flash, but a re smoke. They're like, man, damn, that's like the third. Look at all these players from Fnatic just pushing down right now. It's gone quiet though, and eventually you have to throw in the towel. The pool day a day, and Fnatic throwing back Flusher and Golden towards that site, leaving JW very deep. But like he can't drop a smoke here because they could peek him at any point, and they're going to peek him at this point. Magis can see him on the right eye peak, and JW gets caught now running back through spawn on the speedway. Is Fnatic being loud about it? But Magis could get into the site. That's a good flash, but it's, it's still going to be damage coming through from Flusher, putting them low. Astralis just a couple shots away from death. S Tag trying to plant, and Golden going to deny. He doesn't do it. He had the damage. It's put S Tag on seven. Everyone is low. A shot from death. And Fnatic want to deliver those shots. There's a time to shine. It's now flush at the tree for a Molotov. Really did kind of separate him, but it gave the opportunity to split. And another one's going to come in too. That's going to keep a flush isolated. Now Brolin. Uh, 
look at Dub Dub, man. He's flanked all the way around. He's in the back line. And so, yeah, he sacrifices Glaive. But what does it matter? He's got the kill that meant all the world oh, to man. Astralis. Brolin in with one, but he needs to find Dupree. Flashing himself oh, into my. CT, and it's not given over. Dupree's done it in the clutch. He locks in around for Astralis. He does go down with the bomb. And he will be remembered a hero for putting this eighth on the board. Yeah, epic flash battles of history right there. Like, everyone is <laughs> so blind in that round. No one can see a thing on the retake. And, yeah, like, panic rotation for Fnatic back into, back into B, Astralis. They they keep Flusher back by, by, you know, flashing him off. The boost up for Golden, he basically gets the kill. He puts S-Tag on seven, but he gets off of it in the last shot, tries to spray a little bit more for his worth, and that loses Fnatic the round. If they drop the bomb, surely the Pandemonium would have put Fnatic in the favor. But instead, it's Astralis locking it in with a wrap from Dupree. They keep this one going. Boy, oh boy. Fnatic went that round. They could have started to sweep, right? Money in their favor. Huge lead. Astralis broke. But no, now it's still on the question. 11 to 8. Astralis find their first T round. It's with none surviving, though. So costs at an all-time high. Yeah, they've gone with the force anyway. They were staring down the barrel of a double eco. Golden. Over here at the top of Banana. Gas. I'm going to get stuck in with this Deagle. Now, if only we had a highlight of an IGL from this position with the D to go off of. Oh, there's one. But right, there's the trade right away. Astralis, they never let us have fun, do they? They just kind of brutalize their way back into B. That happy clip would have been garbage, you know, if it was like modern day Astralis on the other Samir side. Samir was. No, I TSM, know, yeah, right? but, like... you know, different time, yeah. different days. JW, still here laying down the pain trade. They could have gone to B. Yeah, they could have taken B, but the problem was Magis was at the top and his teammates were mollied off by deep utility. And so Astralis didn't want to run one man into what could have been a stacked site. And now, not a stacked site, but one with JW uh. wants to hold on to with, again, a lot more damage. It's deja vu. And Brolin could finish this stuff off. JW's going to go through again. He is just relentless. For oh, the my word. Now. Two for him. Magis up on the coffin. JW ducks back into the darkness. And then he reappears once more in the pool, hunting down his prey. Man's just going towards spawn. Crims is holding for this. There's no way out. Not unless it's in a body bag. Oh, he might just sneak to his death. There it is. Crims locking it in. Wow. And in a weird sense, we did get like this sweating bullets gameplay from Astralis with JW peering through that CT smoke and doing all the damage needed to take that round away. JW feeling happy, looking happy, and putting another on the board for the Swedes. Who would have known it would be a P250 that lasts that round back for Fnatic? Just JW. Doing that's, JW things. That's D U B Y A, JW. Hey, Kona. No, that's you, buddy. That's you. Hero AK on device. That's all they got. Look at Glaive and S tag. Just hanging out. With a chicken, no less. The Vice, he's played his own game of chicken with Crims. Comes out ahead in terms of the uh, damage. But there's the returning spray from Flusher. No one in the, in the server yet to go down, but lots of damage done in either direction. One of Astralis got up their sleeve, up against 12, the 13th looming on this little eco. JW, there is a smoke there. You find it hard to believe with how he's just nailed Glaive through it. Oh, okay, radio then. JW, any more through the smoke? No, it fades and he takes down another. So three for JW. That's back-to-back -back 3K rounds. And you know, in the first half, it was Golden stepping up, delivering those big multi-kills to open up rounds. And now we look towards some new heroes for Fnatic. We need that same thing for the Astralis squad, because right now, 
They're at a bit of a vulnerable point. You know, they went for the Hero AK in this round as well. And then that's going to set them up in the future to have to sacrifice some firepower on a key player like Device. Very divisive issue, of course. S-Tag pushing in through the short side, but he's only got a matter of seconds to get these kills. And they're not being given over, are they? 13 on the board for Fnatic. And that reinvestment ready to come through for Astralis. What are the limitations going to be? Just a vice who bought that AK, right? Who can't really afford, but back to the tech, maybe. Give it to Glaive. Yeah, he has. Wow, Glaive's actually... Glaive's in love with the tech. Or just willing to take the hit for the team. Maybe I both. Really blame him, though, Hugo. I mean, it is an immaculate weapon that just doesn't get the credit and attention that it deserves. Like the PP Bison. I can agree with the second, not the first. Well, sounds like a personal problem. And if you want... We can hash it out, Trace, but maybe not here. Maybe not now. Uh, not the time, nor the place. You know, Hugo, there's about one thing you can count on. Yeah? And that's me waiting on you in the parking lot. <laughs> I've got the car keys, though, so... Exactly. I'll see you there. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Flash has got the molly of B. He's going to drop it. Like it's hot. Golden Smoke off, and again flashed out. It's Astralis with the utility, making it unbearable to exist on this B-bomb site. Can JW stop the bomb? Oh dear, no he can't, but he can hit a few shots. <laughs> Not enough. Needs to pull down a little bit more. Device down to nine, and there's Dupree. The find from JW does actually drop the bomb. It was all calculated. It was all part of the plan. Yeah, big grenade going on to the planner of S-Tag, but the bomb does go down, so... Uh oh Another Molotov. This is a battle of utility. Everybody just throw everything you got, and then once that's done, we're all going to go in at the same time. Ready? Oh, the flash. Glaive trying to open up with the tech. It's Magisk with the spray down, but only good for two. Crim's left in the clutch. It was not ready for device. Astralis, they do get lucky number nine. Still a little ways away from tying this game up, and there is still a chance at an investment for Fnatic here and now. I imagine it will just be a partial buy, right? Because you have a few guys sitting on like 5K, everyone else around the $2,000 mark. So if you do just delay that purchase a tiny bit, you'll still have guns in a very timely fashion. There he is, the tech king. Wiping the sweat from his brow. As are we. And unfortunately, for those guys on the left side of the fan cam, the sign, and we could which, not read yeah. your sign. Maybe for the better. We don't know. We'll never know. And we'll leave it at that. Tactical timeout coming in from Fnatic. They can feel the pressure here. A little bit of heat applied, but weapons back out. JW on Ooh, the scout. They're fully forcing. That's a that's a gamble and a half. Right? Let's think about putting this M4 in Roland's hands at this point. I mean, it seems like a pretty proper play, scoreline dependent, right? But financially speaking, fiscally speaking, probably not. Yeah, and no loss bonus either, really. So that's like the biggest justification. Even though Fnatic, yeah, I, I agree. If they fully eco, they could get a good buy next round. But, you know, I trust them. Let's see what they can do. Back to B, back to basics. Four here for Fnatic. If Astralis elevated an A attack, they would win the round immediately. Because JW only has a scout, not really the multi-kill weapon when you're getting run down. But now Fnatic sending those rotates back. They've still got all of their utility. B as a result, the two A players threw the grenades first. And the molly in, just cycle it, keep Astralis out. Double Molotov, in fact, really trying to push them back. And Astralis respond with two of their own. It's just a trade. It's a game of chess right now. Oh. JW. Oh, you could feel that connecting, but the wall soaks up most of the bullets. Or bullet, singular. Keeps Dupree alive. So he's got the walls of Inferno looking out of him. But now he's going to take this to the window as he moves up into the apartments. And just spamming the B site. Doesn't find anything from it. The rest of Astralis aggressively out into top mid. There is one extra rotation here to help out JW. And actually, Astralis, they hesitate for a moment. It looked like they were going to go back to B, but now they throw these A smokes. They look to get stuck in. JW and Brolin, they've oh, got no. to stand and they've got to deliver. Brolin with the double spray. Oh, oh my word! Brolin, an absolutely incredible round. He
He's on for the ace. Not going to get it. JW's there to steal it away. But Brolin, you can see why they trust him with that M4. My word. From short side to apartments, back to short. He locks it in. Goes around the map and back again. And puts that round on the board for the Swedes. Nearly 30 right now. And this is what we wanted from Brolin, right? He was absent on that first map. He, he was bottom of the entire server after Nuke. And it didn't feel like we really got to see what he, what he had to offer. But right here and right now, it's the Brolin show. 29 and 13. No one even close in this server. Closest is Dupree. 10 less. What a carry. What a guy. And he's maybe pulling us to a third map here if Fnatic have their way. Astralis with a tactical pause trying to bleed everything they can from these remaining few rounds in the second half. And look at the buy. It's like, pff, far from pretty. Two AKs. S-Tag could drop one, but uh, yeah. What do you even do here? It's not pretty for Astralis. And there's no AWP needed either for Fnatic. Still back on the scout. Does Golden have a gun? Hopefully. Yeah, there it is. As many AK or more AKs on Fnatic than Astralis have in this round. Jay Wonderchild with the opening kill down through mid onto Device. Glaive mollied off. NLB going back for more. Does decide to let them through the door. And that's where Crims, the real doorman, is here to send them away. Brolin helping out as well. And deary me, Fnatic, they're about to reach 15. Brolin delivering time and time again to get them there, and it's just set to continue, isn't it? Second in the round, S-Tag falling. It's 15 for Fnatic. Map point looking to take us the distance. And we all wanted this series to go the distance. You know, we wanted to see that final map of train. At least I know I did, right? Course, I feel yeah. like I speak for the three of us now. Speak for me in this motion, but yeah. never again. No, never again. That, that's the thing, man. This is, it, it went from looking pretty scary, like with the first half being very, very close. I was wondering like, what's gonna happen? Because Golden had to do a lot of the heavy lifting in that first half. While well, yeah. Brolin has just come alive. He is sweeping Astralis aside like it's a casual Sunday. And here's Flusher dropping that molly at Banana, denying a fast B play. There's more utility where that came from. Giving Astralis a taste of their own medicine and they even boost Golden up to take a man down. Now, flash through is good. That gives some ground over to Astralis, but there's still Flusher and Golden here. Golden just jump shot Glaive. Flusher does get naded out of the round. This is chaos at the top of Banana, but finally, Astralis have got this foothold they were looking for. They just had to pay quite the toll to get it. Chaos, that's Fnatic's dominion. That's where they want you, and that's where they got them. To a B for either side. Astralis looking to commit through this smoke as it fades. I like the idea. Fnatic are caught in rotation. Crims is going back around to the coffin. He's going to get this info, though. Oh, does he see? Does he see the barrel? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he no, sees he something. Sure. Yeah, dink through the wall as well. S-Tag low. Device swings, and they're deeper than they imagine. Crims are great. All bang damage, putting Device on 10 as well. Fnatic have been the kings at almost killing their opponents, and then eventually killing their opponents. Well, that's what Brolin's come in for with all his grenades. He could be the bane of existence for Astralis. A bounce off the wall. That will stop the bomb plant right now. Oh, dear. There it is. Classic Fnatic. No plant today. And now a two-on-two. -two. Not even really a retake. Do Fnatic want to go and catch Astralis in planting? Or do they want to play retake? You know they want the first. You know they want the former. And they're going to move in. There's the tap. They're pre-holding from his classic position. And he's got a kill. Only Brolin left up in the one-on-two. If there was any man for it, he's got a Molotov as well. 13 seconds on the clock. S-Tag, 5 HP, has to back up, could perish in the fire. He's going to go for the stick here, surely. Seven seconds, Brolin swinging with it, and he's got the shot. The bomb may be planted, it. but it's a simple defuse for Fnatic, and 16 in the server. What a game. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Fnatic put that 16 up on the board. Astralis on nine. We're going to be going to train. We come back.